Ask almost any student in the city and he or she will tell you that standardized tests are a big deal. Ask many parents and teachers and they'll tell you that is a big problem. And one of those parents who's been expressing concern is now the mayor-elect. We have to move away from an over-reliance on standardized testing. As de Blasio spoke out against testing Monday, Chancellor Dennis Walcott was discussing the same issue in City Hall, defending the current administration's use of test score data. We have to tackle these difficult topics and make sure that we put the systems in place to make sure our students are able to compete. Most city council members agree with the mayor-elect and are critical of high-stakes testing, which has ballooned over the past decade. Oh, There's a no. lot of buildup now, Chancellor, that wasn't there when you were younger and I was younger. It's this overemphasis on testing that determines so much of how we evaluate schools that is the problem. But the city's ability to cut down on testing is limited, since many of the exams are mandated by federal and state authorities. There, of course, are legal parameters we have to work within in terms of federal and state law, but within those parameters, we're going to consistently reduce the use of standardized testing and of test prep. There are several policies that currently rely on test scores that de Blasio can change and has said he will change, like the A through F school grades, admissions to gifted and talented programs, and whether students are promoted to the next grade or not. But de Blasio won't be able to get rid of standardized tests or stop them from counting towards teachers' evaluations, something new to the city this year and written into state law. But back to how students feel about it all. We had a chance to ask some fourth graders who happened to stop by the testing hearing while on a field trip to City Hall. Did anyone get nervous for the test last year? Wow, everybody. Lindsay Christ, New York One.